karma and the Christian faith. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you see that? Go get the app. That's on iTunes, Google Play, um, and uh, uh, Amazon Fire. It's on Apple TV too. And Roku. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about the gospel and passing the faith to the next generation. There's a give thing. Give today. If you think kids need the gospel and the forgiveness of sins, give today. Karma. Young people today, a lot of people today, think that you get what you deserve. That if you do evil, then evil is waiting you later on. If you do good, then good is waiting for you later on. This is the Hindu Buddhist um, sort of, of, of ideal that um, you get what you deserve in this life or the next. That um, do bad to people, then bad's waiting for you. God's going to punish you for that is a sort of Christian variation of that. Nevertheless, two for two, um, we have this sort of pay it forward, this sort of mindset that, that um, good, good, bad, bad. Um, it also sort of shows up when we think that bad things have happened to someone because they have done bad. Like what person, what sin caused that, um, you know, the bad to happen. That is antithetical to the Christian faith. I'm just going to say it. That, that is not Christian, not even close. Not a little bit Christian, not a touch Christian, not a bit. Whew, overshot. Let me just tell you this. God does not treat you as your sins deserve in Christ. If you want to get what you deserve, if you want to bad people go up, uh, go bad people go down, good people go up religion, that will end in death with you going south. Down. South is good. I'm, I'm, I live in the south. South is good. What I, you going to hell. Ooh, he didn't even expect that. The Christian faith is that God has taken everything that you deserve. He has taken all the things which you have coming to you, all the punishment, all the hell, all the suffering, all the, all the death, and he put it in his, on his son. Christ became the condemnation that you deserve. Uh, he became the sin that you're being punished for. And by his death, you are healed. So God's not waiting around the corner to do bad for you. In Christ, God isn't going to treat you as your sins deserve. In Christ, God's not going to harbor anger forever. Hey, buddy, want to try this? I'm on fire today. I must be living right. That's bad. Um, the key here is, the key here is to understand the gospel. Outside of Christ, well, then you're in a karma world where, where good, good, bad, bad. In Christ, all your bad has been placed on Jesus so that all his good is yours. Um, this also keeps us oops, from wanting to hurt or harm or judge or condemn others. We haven't been condemned. Why should we want bad for others? We're not going to get judgment on the last day. Why would we look for judgment in others? We're not going to, to suffer for all time, for our sins. They've been placed on Jesus. Why would we wish that on others? Karma is antithetical to the Christian faith, which believes that God sent his son to take our bad and our good to the cross so that all that we would have is good in this life and in the life of the world to come. In this life by faith, in the next life by sight. I'm Pastor George Borkart. I mean, it just, it's like, 
you, you do this good all the time, you just, it just gets old. And this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>